Okay, here we go. It's time to test your legal knowledge, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll test my legal knowledge on this one. I love playing this game. We're playing case or not a case with Tom Merriman from Merriman Legal. Good to see you again. Great to be back as usual. We joked. I said I didn't. Last time I looked at them in advance, didn't do me any good. So I didn't look at them in advance. I have no idea what these are now. Yeah. So. And I said I don't like to play this game because I always lose. So we, that we, means I, I should I have a lawyer. We well. should be calling <laughs> Tom if we need anything. Clearly. So that well, I understand. Go with your gut. Go okay. We're gonna go with your gun. Let's okay. try this. Okay. Let's, go, let's go to the dogs. Can we go, go to, to the, the dogs, dogs first? We're gonna yes. go to the dogs. We have. These are your pups. Ah, uh, yes. Seamus and Poncho walk into a dog-friendly <gasps> bar. Okay. Oh, no. Well, I would go but, up to them and want to cuddle them. And okay. they were perfect gentlemen. Okay. I want to be clear. Seamus they and Poncho. That's my shameless excuse to show pictures of my dogs. <laughs> now, uh, Chewy the Chihuahua, however, is the real culprit here. Okay. Uh -oh. Now, this is a pet uh, dog-friendly bar. The dogs are required to wear leashes, and Chewy the Chihuahua has a leash on. One of the regulars at the bar is No Neck Nelson, and he's eating his fifth bacon cheeseburger. It's driving Chewy crazy. Finally, she can't stand it. She leaps onto his lap, jumps up in his face to get that last bit of burger, and nips him on the lip. He has to get six stitches and has a permanent scar. Here's the question. Does No Neck have a case against the bar? <sighs> You said go with your gut. My gut would say n no. I would think it would be against the owner of the dog, but I'm probably wrong. My gut is no also. You are both correct. Oh! Yes. So now <laughs> it's tricky, though, because Ohio is a strict liability state. Okay, so uh, owner of the dog, harbor of the dog, keeper of the dog, your dog causes harm, you're on the hook, okay? In this situation, the bar isn't any of those people, but they could be negligent. But since they require leashes, mm. they're showing some reasonable care. As long as they know, don't know that Chewy's a, a violent dog, then uh, they're okay. okay. So if they knew this could happen with this dog because they know the dog's history, right. then they could be, they the be. could be a problem. Okay. But call us. We do a lot of dog bite cases. I'm a dog lover, as, yeah. <laughs> as, we as you saw. see. And, and my pities are well behaved. <laughs> and uh, you know that's the important thing to re remember. It's not just it's not about the breed. So it's this about happens the a dog. lot. You do a lot of oh, these cases? Oh, we do a lot of dog bite cases, yes. That's no interesting. Kidding. It happens a lot, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And it can really cause people serious harm, especially with little kids. Okay, let's do another right. one. Okay, let's yes. do another one. We're, we're, All we're right, one. now this is the bicyclist. I like are, a brakeless Benny, huh? Yeah, no, so this one is a Rocket Boy uh, Johnson and oh. his buddy Ace Pedal Faster. They're both triathletes, <laughs> and they are training out on the roadway, riding their bicycles. They're on a road that has two lanes of traffic, uh, uh, regular lanes of traffic, and a bicycle lane, a dedicated bicycle lane. Okay, they go over a hill, and coming up the hill behind them is Carpool Kathy and her, and her fellow employees. <laughs> she can't see the bicyclist as she's going up the hill. She comes over the hill, she's going too fast, and she hits uh, Rocket Boy, who is riding in the right lane. He doesn't want to ride in the bicycle lane. Does Rocket Boy have a case against Carpool Kathy? I would say, even though he should be in that bike lane where there's designated, mm -hmm. that yes, he does. I'm a yes too. Oh my! You guys are on a roll. You guys are on a roll. So I'll give you the back. The back story is cyclists. May they're offered that bicycle lane, but they're not required to ride in. Oh, it. so they're not required. Okay. Not required. If they're out on the roadway, uh, they they can be there just like any other vehicle. And there's a three foot rule in Ohio. You got to stay three feet away from bicyclists. So there would be a case there. Okay. And one thing I'll add, if you ride a bicycle a lot, make sure you have uninsured and underinsured motorists on your car. That protects you if you're hit while riding your bicycle, typically. Underinsured. Very okay. important. Do you have these cases, too? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of bicycle cases. No kidding. Yeah. A lot of bicycle cases. You have one more cases. for us, right? One more. I'll okay. try to move quickly. Okay. So this is uh, uh, Breakless Benny. You got Breakless uh, Benny? Here we go. We got you Breakless got Benny okay. runs a red light. He T-bones Susie Smith. Now, Susie goes to the ER, they do a brain CAT scan, which is negative, says she has no brain injury. Uh, the ER diagnosis is sprained neck. Um, but Susie continues to have headaches, okay? Two weeks later, she goes to her family doctor. He diagnoses a concussion. Does Susie have a claim for damages for a concussion? I'm going yes. Um, <clears throat> I'm... I'm going to go with yes too with you on that one. You guys are perfect today. Oh. Perfect. It's unbelievable. This is this might this be the first is, time this ever. This is a first for sure. Wow. 
Okay, I must. I got to work on my game now. But uh, here's uh, no, the thing. No, it still takes some time to think it through. Here's the thing on concussions, I and mean, we have a lot of people. I always tell people, you go to the ER. They're there to make sure you didn't break anything, and you're not going to die in the next 10 minutes. And then they send you on your way. And I've dealt with a lot of people with very serious injuries, but they're not diagnosed till later. CAT scans don't diagnose concussions. They're, they give you a CAT scan to make sure you don't have something more serious, mm -hmm. like a skull fracture or a brain bleed. So. Concussions, take them seriously if you're having those symptoms, headaches, dizziness, that kind of thing. Make sure you, you're seeing a doctor right and away. And that's another reason you shouldn't settle too, too early on something, right? Because something could come up six weeks later you Absolutely. Know, and you've already taken a little settlement and then you've got a, a giant problem. I see that with people who have a very serious painful injury. They're not paying attention to the rest of their body. And six weeks, two months later, they realize, oh my gosh, my knee is hurting, my back is hurting, but I broke my right leg. That's what I was focused on. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, you don't want to settle your case too quick. You want to make sure you know what is wrong with you and you want to make sure you're going to recover. Insurance companies really want you to settle quickly. Oh, absolutely. To get out of that. Yeah, they'll offer you a uh, quick thousand bucks or something to yeah. uh, settle your case. For a $20,000 problem. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's there why you, you got to call the team at Merriman Legal. You can email them at tom at merrimanlegal.com or also go to their website, merrimanlegal.com. If you have, don't do anything unless you talk with the legal expert first, right? Thank you're you. the ones who are the experts. Okay, that was fun and it was important at the same time.